What's going on, Machine Masters? My name is MG The Future. Today, I just wanted to let you guys know I completed the Machine Jam course that's now available. Um, it's basically a starter or beginner and intermediate course that I want to take you through all the cool features that the Machine Jam offers and what makes it unique from the traditional Machine Studio or the MK1 and MK2 versions. Um, we have a getting started section, which helps you get familiar with how to set the jam up if this is your first rodeo. I have a basic navigation part, which covers all the main features and how the machine jam is divided as far as functionality and form factor. Um, I'll also take you through programming drums, which is two techniques. One, you can use the step sequencer. Um, Fruity Loops users might be familiar with that in terms of how to use accents, how to program 16s, and how to extend pattern lengths, and how to really get the best out of that flow. And also, I show you how to use the pad feature, which most of us are already accustomed to, and how you can mix those two workflows together. Um, next, I take you through the scales and keys as well. Um, I show you how to build chords using the grid. I show you how to use chords using individual pads with uh, chord presets. I show you how to build the melodies with the grid and kind of showing you the pros of cons of both workflows. Um, and this is especially great for people who use laptops to create or people who don't have full length MIDI controllers or don't necessarily play piano. You can still write beautiful music with the machine jam and these particular features. Um, then after I do that, I take you through an example project, which is what we're hearing right now. I show you my workflow of how I would get started as far as picking sounds, doing drums, writing chords, writing the bass line, and start experimenting with the different arrangement styles. And of course, being able to use the different functions we have to solo things, to add additional patterns, to do change ups, and get a feel for what your arrangement's going to be. And then finally, last but not least, I take you through the effects that we can see going on right now um, using the new perform effects that's unique to Machine Jam in some respect. And of course, I touch on a lot of other things that I find very useful, especially if you're not familiar with the machine workflow from previous generations. This is going to catch you up to speed whether you're starting out or whether you're new to controllers that have this type of form. Um, if you're from Ableton Push, this will help you catch up to speed as well. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm always open to feedback. Um, and if you have any other things you would like me to do a course on, please let us know in the comments below. Um, I'm probably going to work on a Logic Pro course in Ableton Live with Machine Jam instead of Push. Sounds like an interesting course or option to do as well. Um, in the moment, Fruity Loops because I have about 15 years experience with Fruity Loops, the moment that comes to Mac, I'll probably do a course on that as well. So we're always open to recommendations, especially for the new year. But anyway, I'm MG The Future with the Machine Masters. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.